Hi, this is Dan, and I'm here with more Let's Play of Monster Train. So, still trying to get uh, Melting Remnant 25 with our uh, Hellhorned Allied Clan. I'm not super crazy about those cards. Um, I guess we'll take this. unsure which of these I want to pick. Right, we don't have any reform right now and we have no way to add burnout. So I think this is the safer choice. And then we'll just stick them up on the third floor and that dais thing will protect them. So, we'll do this to get him killed quickly. Um, but we also need to put some damage on these guys, so I don't know, there's, there's a concept, especially if this guy gets... Didn't realize he was the Slay Trigger one. Alright, well that's good there. He's going to get the slay trigger. Yeah. All right. Uh, yeah, it would be nice to do more damage to this guy. Uh, I, I don't know. <laughs> this whole thing is kind of a mess. Uh, we just don't have a good answer for this unit. <laughs> Pyre being that hurt kind of really sucks, but yeah, we can just toss this guy out here and we win. Uh, 
All right. Well, molded is good, and then it lets us focus our reforms, but I think we might it just not have enough, so uh, uh, like enough dead units per turn to make that worthwhile. Uh, especially because Rector Flicker brings two random ones back every turn. Um, hmm, this is tough because I not having one. I think is a real problem, so. Alright. Uh, Molting Imp is interesting. Um, maybe we can get, like, Burnout on it, and it's uh, reusable damage. Alright, well, Alpha Fiend is pretty good. So I guess we'll go with that. The trick will be keeping it alive. Uh, so I can go over here. Wickless Baron I kind of like as well. Um, this guy I don't want to have to maneuver for the slate triggers. So let's get the Wickless Baron. Um, I guess he can be the tank in front of the fiend. So does it? Yeah, I think let's just hold off on the other upgrade, um, and we'll save our money. Obviously we want a uh, multi-strike on the Alpha Fiend, because he gets a benefit every time he throws a strike. Uh, I think we can handle spikes, we have reform. So at least does some good. So, no sense uh, overcomplicating it. Hmm. 
<laughs> Which is barely one, but it, it worked. <laughs> I do like a draft. I guess. Um, yeah, I don't think we really need those. Here, power health, and unit upgrades are exactly what we need. Huh, large stone. There's no room for a large stone, so we can give this to our Baron. And we'll hit reroll. Okay, endless. Endless exploding imp. It's okay, I guess. Um. Yeah. Alright. Didn't exactly get what I was hoping for there. Which is basically just multi-strike. <laughs> uh, um... I think we'll go with this. Yeah, I mean, the other two can be good, but um, I think there there's a lot more regret involved with those because they're harder to play correctly. Or uh, harder to play in, in a way that's unambiguously a good move. Alright, there's always like, well, pros and cons, and well, maybe we should play it this turn, you know, or should we spend money now while well, that, you know, that results in, uh, lost fire health. So it just gets complicated. And we can just stick some dregs here. They'll eat hits and, uh, then be valid reform targets, so I think that's kind of win win win. We do need to get rid of the train stewards. They just, they're too wide. So I never wanna, I don't wanna play them because I don't, also don't wanna have them reformed. This guy up here, and then those guys will get killed next turn. This is working out fine. Ok, 
Okay, well. Yeah, so I think we need uh, some capacity for our uh, Wickles Baron to be able to get some more uh, harvest triggers. You know, like if we had put this guy there, that would have been fine. That's worthwhile to bring him back. Now. Oh, this will burn out immediately. We might as well put it up there so it'll get reformed immediately. So I like with the uh, the the revenge or not revenge, but the uh, the on death trigger that does damage to the front unit. That you know, <laughs> he basically it's like he's self defeating. Uh, all right, well, that we're out of ember anyway. So we know how this is turning out. We'll speed it up a little bit. Alright, so we've already won. Thanks to the explosive here. <laughs> um yeah none of these really seem that great to me uh we're relying on our units getting destroyed and reformed so rage kind of sucks and so does armor uh Legion of Wax is a little bit interesting. Let me think about this. Um, I mean, it's good for like just basically holding down its own floor, uh, and you can get you know upgrades on it. And if you ever get that double extinguish. Uh, Artifact, it's really awesome. So I guess let's get it. We have now we have like four sets of um, uh, multi, you know, multi strike that we want to put on things. 
Uh, okay, so over here, I think some pyre health and an artifact sounds good to me. Two units get burnout one is pretty good. So we have two two units, these entombed explosive. Um, so I guess we'll do this. I don't know. I'm a little bit. two minds about that one. Alright, and then I think we want to bring him back with enhancements. Uh, armor 15. I think 150 gold is not worth the risk there. You're gonna go up there. And one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. I guess you're gonna go here. Baron, you go down here. Yeah, we have a bit of a problem where we're just not dishing out enough damage. Uh, okay, so this guy is not going to do any damage if we put him up here. And 
unfortunately now there's no room for like nowhere we can actually put the, uh, the reformed legion of wax. This guy's gonna get below 30, and that's. but we can't get him all the way to zero. So we might as well. just do that. Do you care about reforming anything? Uh. Okay, let's bring this back. This only affects enemy units, and there's nothing we can kill. So, yeah. Yeah, if we could ever get our, the uh, the multi strike we need, uh, we might be in much better shape. Because uh, right now, the Alpha Fiend doesn't get good until the boss shows up. This is kind of a rerun of uh, what I did on the last on my last round, except with the Wiggless Baron instead of my champion as the uh, the wall. Uh. Well, you know, this is this would be interesting on the floor with um, the Baron, because the Baron would then get three harvest triggers. So let's do that. Um, I don't think we really need Ember. Yeah, this don't seem that great to me. So let's hope for some unit upgrades here, or maybe a trinket store. All right. Uh, summon abilities an additional time. We do have that imp. So that's pretty good. We haven't really upgraded our spells, and I'm not sure we care about it that much. Alright, well, this we want. Uh, yeah, and then let's save our money. All right, so now uh, every time we do the uh, the destroy reform cycle, we're gonna get plus 15. I'm gonna do this because I want the random artifact and I think we have enough reform in the deck that we can absorb a lot of damage. Although I guess the pyre, it's gonna hurt the pyre. Um, 
So this might be a little bit too cute here, but I think this is going to deliver a lot of harvest triggers to our uh, to our Baron. Unfortunately, now there's no room for Alpha Fiend. Um, so, how do we deal with that? Uh, So we can make one space here. That's not enough. If we could just get rid of this guy, we could do four points of damage, but we can't. Um, this will bring this back in a more useful way. So this guy going here. Oh, whoops. No way. Okay, that will work because of the burnout. I th sort of. on this guy. Yeah. <laughs> All right. sure we're going to be able to take care of this guy on the top floor, but I guess we should try to do some damage to him now. Ah, well this will maybe help. get it done. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, we just need a little bit more damage. But we don't have it. sucked a little bit. I guess more than a little bit. Uh, Alright, are we going to be able to make room here? Not really, because they're all too powerful. I should have torched the imp and then maybe put the Legion of Wax up here. Uh, Alright, too late now. <laughs> we are doing a good job of wearing down his stealth, I think. problem here. I guess we can put the Alpha Fiend in, um, but the Daze situation kind of really sucks. And this guy, he's only got Burnout 1, so that's not going to work. Kind of a not great. Uh, on the other hand, this guy is a. I mean, this boss frequently causes problems. So, I mean, I think this one would have been a little better if I hadn't like had to call an audible on the first uh, turn and put my Legion of Wax in the wrong floor. So. Alright, we get extra upgrade slots. If we ever actually got any good upgrades, that would be pretty good. Uh, this is interesting, especially with the Legion of Wax. And our tombs. I'm going to take this. And I think we'll skip these. So, yeah, now, uh, if we ever get any decent unit upgrades, uh, that'll be good. <sighs> okay. Um, so I don't think we want to put that on the, on the Legion, actually. Uh, because it would apply to each of the small ones. Well, 
You know what, that really won't matter too much, because we can't fit anything else on that floor anyway. So yeah, okay. I talked myself into it. Legion Flax, you're bigger. Uh, well, uh, I don't know, that's... All right, multi-strike goes on the Alpha Fiend, although it would also be great on the Legion of Wax. Yeah, uh, this is a tough one. It's like when it doesn't give you the, uh, the multi-strikes when you need them. You know, it's tough. At least we have one now. Okay. Flicker, you go up here. Now, there's only room for five on this floor, so I think... we want to do this and we might as well get our drags killed while we're here sucks. Which one do we want to get out? <laughs> the Legion of Wax goes here, and the Alpha Fiend goes upstairs. Um, I guess we need to do this. Yeah, I forgot that this guy was expensive. <laughs> uh... I thought that would end up killing this guy. Haha, <laughs> that's because that wasn't a bomb, that was a summon two drafts. That's why it didn't work the way I thought it would. Because <laughs> I was just wrong about what it was. Uh, there's nothing I can do that's going to hurt this guy. Um... So, yeah, uh, it kind of sucks, but that is the nature of things.
so this is interesting. Uh, what do we want to summon the effect on? got there but now this guy doesn't get killed so yeah or no I guess we get this give that guy an encant trigger or something uh, so you go here this guy with this to get the money. <laughs> yeah, the problem with the uh, our tombs is we can't get their bomb effects to go off because they're too too tough and they build up uh, too much burnout. still screwed uh And the upside, our Alpha Fiend is pretty tough at this point. Yeah, the Pyre is doing very poorly. Hey, finally, if Legion of Wax shows up at a good time. 
So this ought to be pretty impressive. Ah, but there's no room for the entombed explosive now. Right, let's get rid of this guy first. Yeah. Yeah, so if these guys had multi strike, it'd be even better, but multi strike has been uh, hard to come by. Yeah, the Legion is really good against bosses. of the, uh, like the way it just keeps coming and coming and coming. And obviously if we could get the double, double exhaust trigger artifact, it would be even better. And we've won. So, that's good. Uh, we can set this thing off. Do we want capacity? I think I'm going to take Ember, even though I normally don't. Because uh, that turn where we couldn't get uh, the Alpha Fiend and the Legion out really sucked. And I'm going to go this way because I'm still desperate for uh, unit upgrades. Alright. Multi strike. There is quite good. Um, so if we re-roll, yeah, I'm gonna do it. Okay, another large stone I don't think would fit on the legion. So, like, I don't think the legion would fit on a floor if we give them another large stone. Uh, so let's just do this. Although, I, I would like to give them another multi-strike, but I want to give that to the uh, Alpha Fiend, too. So. Um. Consumable. Um, so melting rune. It's going to be the reform or um, uh, burnout. And I don't think we care about the burnout. Reform might be okay. Uh, this will be rage or armor. I don't think we really care about that. Awoken is probably regen. So I guess we can take that for the Baron. Um. Alright, 
well, I like an additional plus 15. Wow. I like that. Or I wonder if that's incorporating this already. We'll find out. I think we can take on spikes. Maybe that's hubris, but... Yeah, I mean, we do have a big stopping power problem. Oh, and this guy is a uh, sweeper. Um, so the question is, Wickless Bear, I guess... These guys are going to be better up here, and we'll put the the legion on the uh, the bottom floor. Oh yeah, and I get, well, yeah, if the Alpha Fiend comes back, that's, that's not bad. Alright, he gets boosted either way. Almost got this guy. I forgot about the Amber Drain. Uh, So we need to do 28 more damage to this guy if we can. I don't really see how that's possible. Gotta get, gotta get rid of these train stewards too. And they're still clogging up the deck. <laughs>
Uh, so this is maybe a little unorthodox, but we need to make room for our um, Alpha Fiend. So I think we're kind of doomed if we don't, although... Oh, well, that's a problem. Uh, yeah. This is not a great situation. This, oh, oh my god, it only does two damage. <sighs> Alright, we can tank some hits here. No, we can't tank hits. Oh my god, because they're dying to spikes. Oh, the pyre is dead. There's nothing we can do. This doesn't fit. Oh my god, nothing works. Aggravating. Yeah, this one, it's like we had half of a good thing going, but it's like, you know, what does it matter if you can fit three upgrades if it never offers you any good upgrades? It's like, oh, we can get 9,000 large stones. Well, yeah, and make nothing fit? Okay, good compromise. Um, uh, yeah, it's like the uh, the Legion uh, really only works once it's, you know, once it's been defeated once, and kind of the large stone works against that, and yeah, that's all over the place. Um, yeah, and I'm hoping that this is getting recorded here because right now my uh, uh, everything looks frozen to me, so uh, I'm not sure <laughs> what's going on. Um, Cause I'm trying to get ready to stop the recording and do my sign off, but uh, yeah, the uh, thing says it's not responding. Uh, well, we're getting there now. At least the open you know, OBS is responding, but uh, Monster Train isn't. Um, yeah, so it's I don't know. I feel like the game just wasn't cooperating on this one. Like it just wasn't giving us material to work with. Uh, you know, and obviously that's you have to you know part of the game is rolling with the punches and and developing your strategy around what you do get but it's like you know once you once you take alpha fiend you kind of need a multi-strike on him and similarly for legion of wax i think it kind of sucks if it doesn't have multi-strike because it just takes up too much space and it doesn't you know it's not like if it was doing like a hundred damage per attack and it could take out those big you know, wall type units, that would be one thing, but it's it's not doing that. It only gives you the multi-strike once it's split up, and it only splits up once it get, takes enough damage, but we had put a large stone on it, you know, because that's the upgrade we had access to, and it sort of makes it a slow, slow burn unit, and it's kind of like, well, yeah, that's not going to work, because slow burn on everything it just means they get up to the pyre, and yeah, so that happened. All right. 
Well, I hope you enjoyed watching, and I hope you come back next time. Bye.